Hello my friends and how are you doing? Sora video just dropped. Here is everything you need to know. Let's get started. First let's look at some examples from the Sora website and you can see some pretty stunning stuff there. You can also find really nice user generated videos on Twitter. So I want to show you some of these examples too because some of that is really mind-blowing. Right at this moment, the Sora servers are pretty overloaded, so it's kind of hard to log into and you might need a VPN to get onto the site. Also, the creation of the videos costs credits and you can use it with your ChatGPT subscription. Let's look at the web interface. Here you can see it looks kind of like ChatGPT, but of course with a lot of videos on top. And in the lower part of the website, you have the prompt entry. Now, in this case, you can use a text prompt, you can use an image input, and you can also use video to video. Here we're trying a text prompt, and you can see on the left lower side, you have a button for presets. Next to that, you have a screen ratio, but you can also have different resolutions up to 1080p as far as I know. You can set the duration to up to one minute of video. And you can also choose how much variations you want to create so that you can render multiple videos at the same time. After the video has been generated, you see the four previews and you can actually scroll through the video to move it forward, backward in time to have a good impression of what you are actually getting as a result and base the next step on that. Once you have chosen the video you like to use, you have multiple ways to go on with that. You can change the prompt you have created it with. You can also recut the video, which means that you can extend the video or trim the video, which is pretty cool because it allows you to extend the video at specific points where you want to have more in the video. You have a remix function which allows you to use normal language to change things in the video. The blend function allows you to blend between two different scenes so that the AI creates a new scene from that, while the loop function enables you to create a seamless loop from the AI video. On the top of the screen, you have more options where you can favorite it, you can share your video, and you can also download it to edit it more on your computer. On the left side of the screen, you can see, for example, the featured videos. This is a good overview of what has been created inside of the community. You can also save these videos as inspiration. And on the right side, you find a menu with tutorials for the different functions to guide you through the process. I'm actually using the base of these tutorials for this video right now. Let's have a look at how remixing works. Here you can select the video that you have created and then you can define through just using your normal language what you want to change in that video. You have the option of different strengths of how strongly the change should be applied to the video and then you simply click remix to get the new variations of that video. And as you can see here, that worked really well and it is fitting to the original video. Next, let's have a look at the blend function. Now here you can choose two different videos and blend them together. What that means is not that there is a transition or fade between these two videos, but actually you're creating a new video that is inspired by the content of both these videos. So in this case, we have a butterfly and we have a blossom and we want to combine them. In this specific case, the result is kind of strange, but I want to show you a better result that I found on Twitter where we have this drone shot of a castle and then we have these two runners. And that combined gives you a drone shot that goes down to the runners and the result is absolutely stunning.
Now let's have a look at the storyboard function. Now this is kind of like a timeline and here you can basically tell through different prompts what should happen in different points of the timeline. We have kind of seen that also with local video AI models where you just say the number of frame at what point new stuff should occur. So this is kind of similar to that. And here in this example we can see the crane and then in the middle of the video the crane should dip down the head and drink from the water and as you can see in the final result this is what is happening let me know what you think about this model thanks for watching and leave a like if you enjoyed this video bye